What is up, guys? TW Booty Hunter here with another video and with another YouTube's worst. And looks like once again we are tackling Mike Hollow once again. Yeah, I said I was done with this guy, and for a while I actually was, but I figured hell, I haven't done a YouTube's worst in quite a while, and I still have some bones to pick with this guy because especially with the very fact that when him and fate made up it was great it was cool i thought okay maybe this mike guy might be turning over a new leaf maybe he finally got some sense in his head and learned from his past mistakes or maybe they even just agreed to disagree i'm like okay that's cool at least they made up so we don't have to worry about any of that no more but then I discovered something else, you know, kind of going back on his channel and kind of really looking at it, especially since YouTube just keeps recommending his bullshit to me. Um, not the other way around. Uh, but yeah, Fate, Infinite Retro, Liar, Deflector, Manipulator, Narcissism Personified. And this, mind you, this was, uh, huh, yeah, it's still up there. That that's that's actually pretty wild. Yeah, it's still up there after all this time, but I thought you guys made up, so why the why the fuck would a video like that be there? And then oh my god, yeah, I'm actually seeing these two videos now that he made on me, like Plain Victim 101, my last response to TW Booty Hunter maybe you know you had to put maybe there so just in case you responded to this one and you know no one couldn't call you out because it's like oh you can't call me out for being a hypocrite uh, I, I put maybe in the title and you know look at this fucking yeah my response and shit like that bro <laughs> the fact that i triggered you so much it's like the fact that and yes, I am going to bring up the fact that I'm a small channel because it's relevant in the sense that the fact that it doesn't so much matter that you were picking on, like that you were, you know, making a video about a small channel because you can go ahead and do that all you want. You clearly have, no, like, you can do that all you want. But my problem is, one, would you have even responded to any of that had the video not gotten so many views. Like, had the video not gotten so much traction, the video that I initially did, not even just on you, you were like a third, like a small piece of what that video actually was, would you have even felt the need to make a video, you know, criticizing me and stuff like that? What Would you... I don't think you would have, but because you saw that that video was gaining some traction and it was at the expense of you calling you out for being a piece of garbage that you absolutely are, um, yeah, that's what made you do it. And, and here's why I feel that you are a complete disingenuous cunt because, okay, what about my boy Seeker? He, this video right now of him calling you out for your bullshit, you ain't going to make no video on him, or or better yet, maybe now you will, now that I've called you out. So it's like, even if you make a video now, you're only just doing it because I called you out on it, because you darn sure ain't did it. Because this been up for like eight days. You, you ain't did it, but I thought you were the type of guy that anytime anyone mentions you in any sort of vein, it doesn't matter how big or small the channel, you're quick to respond, right? Was that your thing? That he does try to give examples of, you know, how to fix the game. Uh, and even when he criticizes the game, there's, uh, there's hints of him basically showing you and telling you that he genuinely cares about this game and wants it to be better. But it's a shit, it's a shit game. Currently, it's a shit game. And I don't think that NetherRealm can save it unless they kiss our ass really hard. Like No Man's Sky did. 
And again, these are just observations. I've watched videos. I've seen the lives. So you can't come up with bullshit and tell me that I'm lying. I know what I saw. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy to me because Mike says, you know, he believes or he thinks. And it's funny because I can I can watch Fate's videos and I don't need a mystical dictionary to tell me what words mean because I understand that we live in this social justice warrior, uh, you know, society where people get triggered and hurt by words and they're always trying to find meanings to words that already have a meaning so they're always trying to run around the bush and come up with meanings that the words don't really have so basically if you say words that they don't like it's essentially a dagger behind it so oh yeah it's always hateful or you're gonna magically minecraft someone because you said a certain word that they didn't like and all that comes from brainwashing from this current society that we currently live in when most people are soft and weak and always have to find an excuse to make someone else the villain of their story. Yeah, and he brings up a real good point because that's exactly what Mike does. This is exactly the type of shit he does. He, he's a complete manipulative piece of shit. It's like I loved how he has the manipulator thing right in his title, right in his title of Fate's video. But, buddy, that's you and spades. You're the type of guy that because someone says something that you don't like, you're quick to uh, say that they're ga- like you're quick to say that it's rage bait or clickbait. Like, really? That's crazy because. Uh, the mainly the videos that seem to be doing well on your channel or the drama type of videos. Ain't that, ain't that about a bitch? <laughs> ain't that about a bitch? Really? Anything that has to do with any sort of drama, whether it's like Crunchyroll just gave its customers the vic, uh, the f- middle finger. And our ATIF butt says fighting game replay channels are stealing. Or, or fucking, or, Oh, yeah, I don't even know how the fuck you say that name. Arslan Ash responds to Sonic Fox comments on Safina. Those seem to be the videos that do really, really well. Or even this juicy one. The MK1 community got sad and then they got horny. Like, <laughs> But you're, you call fate and you call people like me out on being incredibly toxic individuals you try to gaslight us into being the villains because of the fact that you don't like what we have to say on a certain thing and this is not even just exclusive to mike this is exclusive to a lot of these soft pussies that are online like anytime someone says something that they don't like whether it's an opinion or anything like that they're quick to call it rage bait they're quick to you know call them toxic always try to demonize them in any sort of way that they possibly can because they absolutely just cannot cannot handle the fact that someone would dare think the way or not think the way that they think it it, it's pathetic dude It, it, it just really shows how manipulative people like mike is it really shows how soft people like mike truly are and man and i love how you're a guy that also says that he does research but then you still feel the need to ask questions like about like oh well can you show me what the evidence of this is? I thought you said you did the research. Why would you need more evidence? You did the research. You, you, you uncovered everything, right? Yeah? Really? Like, Mike, you're full of shit, man. It's like, look at this. Matter of fact, hold on, hold on. This boy talks nothing but nonsense. It's like you also say in the video that I talk out of both sides of my mouth. Wow, fucking deflection much? Because that's all you seem to do, Mike. That's literally all you fucking do. It's 
oh my god, man. It's like hip like contradiction should be your middle name. Honest to God. Mike Hypocrite Hollow. Like that it it, it it makes no sense how big of a hypocrite you are. You literally cannot stand on anything on any of the bullshit that you fucking spew. And what I also don't get is the fact that okay, you can have problems uh, with like you can do this sort of thing where you and f- fate forgive each other, but then you write a or not write but make a two hour long video on fate, you know, calling him a manipulator, all this type of stuff, and still keep that up, but then fate does a stream not even remotely addressing you, not directly at least, but you take offense to that and, you know, you're like, come on, man. It's like, how are you going to try to contact fate or confront fate about not deleting a stream that you think was about you and you didn't even delete a video that was actually about him and calling him all these names and calling him all this stuff. I mean, Mike, again, man, once again, you just love talking out of both sides of your fucking mouth. You love talking out of both sides of your fucking ass, dude. You're a piece of garbage, man. And it's like you really keep proving me proving me right every time. It's like, oh, my God. And what is even more, um, you know, what's even more juicy, it's like, I, it, you claim you watch all of Fate's videos. I don't think you did, man. I really don't think you did. I Like, I get the sneaking suspicion that you, that somebody had to have told you about it or whatever. And, or better yet, you watched it. Probably, like, you might have watched his videos, you might have been one of those guys that was watching his videos and was just waiting on the opportunity for him to slip up, for him, for you to have something to talk about. Because it's like, I I know about YouTubers like you. I know that you have shit like this, like, ready to go, like, ready, like, and cocked and stuff like that, just waiting for the kill shot. Like, like that's what it is, man, because you wait to do these types of, like, videos, to do these types of videos, to do this type of bullshit where you tell this story and you like to make people out to be the villains of that story. That That's your thing. Like, you... Like, you want to be the good guy so bad. You want to be Mr. Internet Language Tone Police... I don't get what is, like, what's with you. How are you trying to be that, but then you make three videos dissing me, bruh? But I thought you didn't like that fight or my content, you know, calling people names. Mind you, the fate fucking called the condiment twins the condiment clowns. That's what this whole thing is about. Whether you want to admit it or not, that's what it's about. That's what your boy Sonic Fox, like not Sonic Fox, but your boy Foxy or whatever. I mean, they're both cunts, so it really doesn't matter what I call them. But, yeah, your boy Foxy Grandpa, you know, was calling Fade out about, and you tried to defend him. So, oh, well, I called him out on his talking points. You didn't say anything about the actual bullshit that Foxy Grandpa said about fate. You ain't say shit about that. You completely ignored that. Tossed that to the side. It was like, oh, I can't talk about him if he's not here. Oh, that's crazy. Really? Really? Because you had no problem doing it to me. And then on top of that, you also had no problem doing it to fate. Making, like, oh, my God, man. (laughs) You're a joke. You're a fucking joke. The idea that you have people that even gravitate towards the things that you even say is a joke. Uh, the idea that you have 5.97K followers is a joke. It's like anyone that could believe anything or take seriously anything that you say 
it is complete. It is completely nuts. It, it just it, it just is. It really just is. But it's just like you are the exact guy who loves to always hold other people to account. Like loves to hold other people accountable. But as soon as you get held accountable for anything, you freak out. You get all pissy. And yeah, you you just start going all in. And you let your emotions get the complete better of you. But you're supposed to be this calm, cool, collected guy, right? Yeah, Mike? They, like, is that your thing? You know, you don't get down with the rest of us ruffians. You know, you don't get down with all that toxic shit, right? That ain't you. You ain't the drama guy. Bull fucking shit. And you know what? Matter of fact... Let's look at a one that one of this guy's videos. Let's uh, we're not gonna react to the whole thing. Like I said, it's like as long as like Lord of the fucking Rings. But let's look at this one, like where he criticizes. Oh my God! Here we go. Kimberly calculated from the beginning. How do I be? All right. I had to explain this to him. He didn't want to listen. He still doesn't want to listen. And this is going to tie into something that he said with Tom Brady that I'm going to bring up. Now that I've done the opening 10 minutes of some of the gripes that I have with Fate, and I'm going to go into more, there are two videos that he's uploaded that we're going to react to. So this is going to be a bit of a long video. If you want to watch the whole thing, maybe do it in two parts. Maybe get a, uh, some tea. Maybe get some popcorn. I don't know. But I'm going to be here for a while covering this because after this, even if Fate makes a video... I don't really want to talk about the guy anymore unless something worthwhile comes up because I really don't like... Oh, you had to put the unless, you motherfuck. You had to put the unless. Oh, my God. It's like, dude, stop, stop trying to kid people. You have this shit locked and ready to go. You know you're... It, it, bro, he talks about me playing the victim. You literally... Oh, my God. You literally... Literally, you son of a bitch, you piece of shit, you're fucking, like, dude, you are a manipulator, you are an actual manipulator, how people are hypnotized by your little proper British accent, it's bullshit, it's complete crap, you, oh my god, man, and it's like, you'll play the victim just as much. Because it's like, dude, you're sitting here and then, matter of fact, you're sitting here fucking wondering why fucking uh, uh, fate doesn't want to talk to you anymore. Why he's like blocking you and all that shit. Oh, uh, yeah, you're, you're sitting, uh, but you're playing the victim, right? Oh, I didn't do anything wrong. I, I, I just kept a complete uh, two hour fucking hit piece on him up. You know, but I didn't do anything wrong. He did something wrong by men not mentioning me, but mentioning me in a fucking live stream. Like, what? You are the biggest victim. You are the biggest fucking, like, victim on YouTube. But you love to throw that victim shit off on other people when that is so you. Fuck you. See, I'm not like fate. I'm telling, dude, I I am not going to try to be cordial with you. I don't like you. I think you're an actual piece of shit. I think you're an actual manipulator. I think you're a cunt. I'm just going to put that out there. I think you suck. Everything about you sucks. You are one of the absolute worst type of YouTubers there is. You are a complete piece of garbage and and you just and you're fake you're you're all around fake you try to put on this persona in this image like you're so much on a higher ground than everyone else on a higher moral ground than everyone else when you're honestly as big of a scumbag or just as big of a scumbag as any of these other youtubers out here and you know you are it's like, oh, he's doing this for views. Everyone's doing this shit for views. We're on YouTube, jackass. And, and then, oh, well, rage bait. First off, just because it's something you do not agree with does not mean it's rage bait. You and pussies like you need to learn that people have differing opinions 
and they're not going to be opinions that you like. That does not mean that they're rage bait. They just bait your rage. They bait you to rage. And if you rage as a result of that person's opinion, that's 100% on you. Not on them, on you. Take some accountability, pussy. Take some accountability, you little bitch. I like it when grown men behave like victims. And this is what I said of the Booty Hunter video. Now I'm going to make... <laughs> Once again, projecting that shit, but mm, okay. It is clear before my rant begins. I put myself on the internet. I am well aware that Fate has three, almost 4,000 subscribers. I'm well aware that some of those people don't like me. When I put myself on the internet and I- Oh, but I'm playing the victim, right? I open myself- That, that opening statement right there isn't already playing the victim. Fuck off up to the public that means that they can criticize me whether that is pro players casual players oh oh so they can criticize you right <laughs> they can criticize you okay yeah well like literally my homeboy right here seeker is criticizing you but you ain't doing no video on him because he only got 51 views where's your video on him where's your video on him or people just commenting on YouTube. I'm not gonna make a video saying, oh, I've only got 4,000 subscribers. Why are you picking on me, blah, blah, blah. That is all nonsense to me. I ain't trying to hear none of that bullshit. If you open your mouth on YouTube, it doesn't matter if you have 1,000 subscribers or 1 million. You are open to criticism. Don't try to use the whole, oh, I've only got a couple thousand or I've got, I've got a couple hundred bullshit. You're grown men. That shit is cringe. It makes me sick. I don't respect it. And that is the kind of shit that will piss me off. So this video I'm, I'm gonna keep referencing this video where's your response on him huh and, and, and oh it pisses you off right it pisses you off that that people say that uh, oh well in that case I'm gonna keep saying it I only got 700 subscribers I only got 700 subscribers I only got 700 subscribers does it make you mad Mike does it does it does it I hope it does it's little fucking cunt Having said that, if you have criticisms on the way I'm about to speak about fate... Seriously, fuck this guy. I, I really don't like... I don't like... Because he's such a fake fuck, man. He's such a fake little bitch. And he knows he is. I do not like people like this. I do not... He wants to talk about respect. This guy does not respect anyone. He only respects people that share his same ideas. He wants to talk about respect. Fuck this dude and his respect. All the way I spoke. Your respect is about as worth, is about, it, like, means about as much as, like, a fucking penny, dude. That, 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 your respect is about one cent. Spoke about Booty Hunter. My comment section is open. I will not. And, and I love the fact that he's still so fucking focused on me. Still so fucking focused on me in this fucking video. Still keeps bringing my name up in this fucking video. And I got him so fucking hurt, baby. I'm telling you. I got him so fucking hurt. But literally three fucking videos right on me. I got the little bastard so hurt that he's made three videos on me. And even in this fucking video, he's still mentioning my fucking name. I got him hurt, baby. I got him fucking hurt. I'm in your head, Mike. I'm right in your head, aren't I, guy? I'm really really in your head i'm driving you fucking crazy aren't i oh man and i bet you the fact that i actually came back with a response you're just foaming at the mouth ready waiting that to fucking just like respond to me so, and, and again hoping that that people can't call you out on responding because oh no 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 i put maybe i put maybe in the video i put maybe in the title of the video so i'm not a hypocrite i put maybe in the title of the video not delete your comments and i'm certainly not going to come on youtube and act like a child and say don't bother me that shit is all <laughs> oh you're triggered that i delete people's comments oh yeah i do that because oh listen Okay, 
for those who are not aware. Th this is for Mike and others who are not. It's my goddamn channel, and I can do what the fuck I want. It says T.W. Booty Hunter. It's not T.W. Booty Hunter and friends. It's not T.W. Booty Hunter or anybody else. It's T.W. Booty Hunter. I am T.W. Booty Hunter. I do what the fuck I want with my channel. So if you don't like it, piss right the fuck off, bitch. All ridiculous. Anyway, let's start with the first video. First video is called In Conclusion. Seriously, piss right the fuck off. My channel. I can do what I want. Faye can do what the fuck he wants on his channel. Mike can do what the fuck he wants on his channel. You don't got nothing to say about what the fuck I can do on my fucking channel. Sorry, bitch. You don't run my goddamn channel. Are you team YouTube? Oh, wait. <gasps> You're not? You're just some cunt named Mike Hollow? Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, then stay in your fucking place and know your role, jackass. Over the few months, I have talked to many, many people. Most of them have been people uh, when it comes to like, you know, we're talking here like big debates or big conversations. And yeah, let me keep pausing the video because I know that's going to fucking trigger a lot of you. I know that's going to fucking trigger, especially the Mike Hollow fans too. Oh, does that trigger you? Wait, does this trigger you? Does people this trigger you? Oh my God, I bet this triggers the shit out of you. Oh my God, he's pausing it so much. It makes me itch. It makes me fucking itch. Oh God, I can't take it. Oh man, he's pausing the video. It's messing with my mind. Pausing the video. If that actually triggers you and that actually drives you that insane, uh, mental issues. That's 100% of you problems. So just putting that out there. Competitive. Oh yeah, just want to put some last song on the wound there. Uh, pros. You know, what not. I'm not going to lie. I'm having a lot more fun with this than I thought I would. <laughs> this is fun. This is actually a lot of fun. I didn't, I, bro, I swear. I thought this was going to be like, just, I, at first, when I made the video that I made on Mike, the response video, that was the most half-ass response video ever. And the reason why that was is because the whole situation, it's because the whole thing which is completely embarrassing. Not embarrassing for me. It was embarrassing that uh, the, the fucking Mike let himself, a grown ass man, let himself get triggered by another YouTuber like that to the point where he had to make three videos about him. Like the point where, yeah, and yeah, it was like, oh, you're making three videos. Well, technically, yeah, technically it's two. Because, you know, I got. The one, the first video I made, he was only but a third of the per of like the whole topic that I was talking about, and then my response video, and now this video. So really, in actuality, it's two videos. So, yeah, that's still one less than what Mike made. So, eh. and I can safely say that. Uh the only person that actually felt like from that scene, right, and I'm not talking about obviously the friends that I've made and the people I've spoken to in Discord and stuff like that. I'm talking about like the, the people that, you know, clearly had taken grave issue with my opinion. And it's an interesting thing actually because you can never, if you put forth your opinion and you genuinely believe in it, that's a good faith argument, right? Mm -hmm. Never said I was an expert in anything, even debating. Terrible debate. Now, I don't know if he's referring to me here, but I'm going to react to this as if he is because he has a really bad habit of not just saying names directly. Oh, God, you, you sensitive. Dude, Mike Hollow is the most sensitive man on YouTube. He is the man, like, bro, I swear to God. And this is why he makes that fucking argument is like oh it doesn't matter your subscriber count if you say if you talk about something and you should be held accountable yeah if you mention mike hollow then apparently or or at least if you mention mike hollow in the video does well i have to preference that uh if you if that happens then he'll get fucking mad and you know he'll make videos on you and shit um, and, and even if you're not talking about him directly, somehow you'll, he'll still think you're talking about him. It's like, he's that, like, again, everything that he's saying that fate is in this video, it's him in spades. He's completely deflecting. That's what makes this whole thing so hilarious. 
and just flat out sad. I, God, dude, man. I was like, and, and what's crazy is like, he actually thinks he looks good in this. This, uh, the whole time, the video's on me, this on fate, he thinks he looks good in this situation. You don't. You do not look good in this situation. It doesn't matter, like, how many fucking, uh, you know, views you get. It doesn't matter how many fucking subs you get. You know, how many sub people you can manipulate into completely wanting a sub to your garbage-ass channel. Um, yeah. It doesn't matter, because at the end of the day, because you still do not look good in this situation. You don't look nowhere near as good as you think you do. If anything, you look a hell of a lot worse. Because, mind you, all this bullshit really started because of the fact that fate dared call... Uh, they, they called some old oh, condiment clowns. That's where this old shit came from. And and now what it snowballed into is uh, Mike Hollow in his incredibly bruised ego. And although I know I'm included in this, I don't know which parts exactly. But to clarify, it's not that I think fate is arguing <laughs> bad faith. It's not that I don't think he believes what he's saying. I just think that he doesn't understand that he is wrong about a lot of the things he's saying. He's not wrong at the fact that Mortal Kombat 1 is a bad game. His predictions weren't wrong because I saw his old videos. He said that the game wasn't going to be very good. Turned out to be true. He's not wrong about any of that. Why he doesn't like the game and the explanations he offered didn't make any sense. You can have an opinion and you might even say, Mike, you can't say his opinion's wrong. What I can say is that he's misinformed. And as he said himself, How is he misinformed? How, how is he misinformed and you're not he, people i could say that easily about your fucking videos how do you and it's like it kills me about guys like him because they just think they know everything about everything uh, such genius savants about everything i'm like yeah the, the raw ego this guy not only has a huge ego but it's an incredibly fragile ego as well the guy thinks he's such a genius. He thinks he's such a fucking wordsmith. He, he just thinks he's all this shit. He's just so lame. He doesn't know everything. He doesn't understand everything, which is fine. The only problem is, is that you don't even know everything and understand everything. None of us as humans do, you jackass. We are all learning. Every one of us. No one knows everything. You don't even know everything about this little fighting game bullshit like you think you do. Oh my god, you know what up blocks are? Ooh, whoopee! What do you want, a cookie? When you put yourself on YouTube and you're explaining things as if you do, because you make in-depth... Fate's never, no, he, he does not come off as that. I'm pretty sure he even says in videos that I do not know everything about fighting games. He says that in his fucking videos, dude. You're willingly trying to ignore that in order to make a point. See, this is the manipulative shit I'm talking about. Videos about why certain things don't work or why certain. And yes, I am pausing a video, uh, not just to trigger you, but to also respond to points. So yeah, keep getting triggered, bitches. But it let me finish what I'm saying. I don't need to, cause I can already tell the bullshit you're gonna say just from the few bit of words right there. And then I keep getting proven right once it does finish. <laughs> Certain things are silly or why certain things might be an irritation and then the explanations that follow don't really make sense i think people are well within their right to say hey hold on a minute that makes no sense booty hunter said well you both bash mortal kombat and if anyone holds that sentiment that's not how i look at things i mean i could dislike the wwe i could dislike the ufc but the reasons that me and you dislike it might differ so it doesn't mean i'm automatically going to agree with you just because we both dislike the same thing but what i do know that that's not the issue that's not the issue no one's saying you gotta agree with fate but the idea that you are just sitting there trying to say that his reasons for why he likes it are wrong as opposed to your reasons like you said you have different fucking reasons 
to say that his reasons, just because they're different from yours, to say that they're wrong, no. It doesn't work like that, dude. Is what I believe in, what I feel. Uh, and hopefully I can, at the very least, convey that in some sort of capacity so people can understand it. So that way, you know, uh, it's, you know, it makes sense. And so over the course of these last few months, it's come very apparent, apart from one individual, that there is no good faith discussion here. There's no good faith debating. There is simply the case of they want to win and they're going to do everything they can and twist everything they can to turn it around. So does anybody want to explain to me what I twisted to turn it in my favor? Did anybody want to explain to me why? Hey, if the shoe fits, motherfucker, wear it. <laughs> I mean, because again, he didn't say your name. But if you think that's you, then it's probably you. <laughs> I mean, does that sound like the type of shit you would do? I mean, to me, it does. But you thinking that that's you automatically is saying, hey, this he must be talking about me because I think that like because this would be the shit that I do. That's basically almost like you admitting to that shit. And then when you talk about me, you're saying my shit directly. Booty Hunter, you're saying that directly. So it's not me just taking some bullshit personally. Uh, no, you're directly saying me. So, again, go fuck yourself. It's like... Ugh, come on. His argument is the good faith one, but my arguments or anybody else's arguments are not the good faith ones. Why is it just him? Why are we... No, 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 no. Don't even try to fucking do that. He... Oh my god. Oh my god. That's it's like you're you're sitting there trying to say that, that like fate just only thinks what he believes is the only good faith part. Where are you even getting that from? <laughs> you are pulling that shit right out of your ass. Well then again, that's what your whole channel is, so I'm not fucking surprised. We all bad faith. I don't actually think he's arguing in bad faith. I just think he's misinformed. But this whole, I'm the martyr and the- How is he misinformed? You keep throwing that around. Is if you know everything. Is if you're more informed. How, like, oh my god, man. Like, do you work for Bandai Namco? Do you work for NetherRealm Studios? No, you don't. You're no more near informed than any of us. We are all fans of this shit. We all have a passion for Mortal Kombat. We all have a passion for Tekken and want to see it improve in all of that. We just have different reasons as to why we don't like it and to what we would change and all of that type of stuff. These people attacked me and I stand firm on my beliefs. This is all nonsense. This is this No, it's not all fucking nonsense, you son of a bitch. Because he does have the right to stand on his own fucking shit. He does have the right to do that. It's nonsense because you like the idea of being able to fucking uh, uh, bully someone for their opinion. You like the idea of doing that shit, but yet if someone did that to you or the people that you fuck with, now it's a problem. Man, you, you really like having your cake and eating it too. That's the real problem with you. you. Oh my God, you fucking fake ass Jason Momoa. You fucking, oh my God. I would say you fake ass Roman Reigns, but you ain't even cool enough for that. Go fuck yourself, man. This is all nonsense. <laughs> this is a grown man acting like a child. It's not that any- Oh! <laughs> Deflection? Like, that's you all the way! Every response video that you've made towards me and towards fate has been completely childish. The way that you have gotten so butthurt over, you know, what, uh, uh, especially over me calling you out for being the hypocritical 
like conniving, literal condescending piece of shit that you are, the fact that you let that hurt you so bad that you made not one, not two, but three videos on me, that's pretty childish, dude. Yeah, the fact that I got under your skin that damn much, that's fucking childish. That's childish as hell. That doesn't sound like someone who's, you know, well under control. Is the as much as you like to appear like you are on your fucking channel. Like you're just this calm, cool, and collected brother. You ain't. Anyone was trying to make Far you look it. silly, argue in bad faith, or tear you down before you get to any of that, because I'm sure this is where it's going. It's that you had an argument, and I had an argument. And we put our arguments together, and in my opinion, yours didn't make any sense. Now, to clarify for those that are watching, his sentiments towards Mortal Kombat, I agree with. As in, he doesn't like the game, thinks the game is bad. The reasons why are what I disagree with. The way he puts his reasons across are why I, dis why I disagree with him. I feel that I need to stress that because I think this is something that people keep on missing. And it's not a lot of people, there's just a few people, but I want them to understand that those two things are separate. We can both dislike something and dislike it for different reasons. It doesn't make me bad faith because I pushed back on your nonsense. Okay, well then it doesn't make him misinformed for having his reasons. What are we doing here then? Because you're the one that started this bullshit from the beginning. Saying that all oh, his re oh, you didn't like the way he talked about more. Oh, he's misinformed for his reasons. This is where this whole bullshit even started. So then now you're trying to twist it around. The, the fucking safe face. Oh my God, bro. Argument. And when I say nonsense, it doesn't mean you're arguing in bad faith. It just means you are misinformed and you're not listening to... He loved, he, he keeps saying that, keeps saying that, keeps throwing that word around. Misinformed, 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 misinformed. How is he misinformed? You never say how. You never say how. You keep fucking throwing that shit around like 18 times in one fucking video, but you never say how. So why? And of... Hell, you you want to talk about me pausing the fucking videos being annoying? You saying misinformed twenty four plus fucking times in a gosh darn fucking video? It, that's not annoying. Obviously, had a lot of support. People done videos, comments, that sort of thing, and and I see it all. And I thank everyone for that. Of course, it's not, uh, you but know, to 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 your followers because you know they just love the sound of your voice. You know, they just they 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 sleep to that shit. You know, they 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 probably fucking even like put their hands down their pants and even fucking feel themselves to that shit that yeah so it's probably not annoying to them you could say misinformed like a hundred times and it would be music to their ears the last few days even though i've still been putting out stuff i decided to sort of really think on it because there's this overwhelming feeling of just darkness when it comes to dealing with some of these people something is wrong there is no good faith discussion to be had with these people. Their goal and their only goal is to turn you into entertainment, which is why I did a video uh, a few videos back about how I have become their content, because I have, right? This is what they do. And it's not just with me, they do it with other people as well. Now, this is something that Fate has said a few times, and I decided to look into it. If you guys want to go and have a look, and see if I'm lying for myself. I went to Dittle's channel, which is a name that he references a lot. I couldn't find a video on them, although I'm sure they're on there somewhere. I scrolled through and scrolled through and scrolled through. Now, I know there's a live stream discussion, but he said, I have become their content. So in Dittle's case, that's a lie. Then I went to Foxy's channel. Foxy has over 300, nearly 400 videos on his channel, and then multiple live streams. On Foxy's channel, Fate has four videos on there out of 383 plus the live streams. So obviously nonsense. If you go to my channel, I have damn near 700 videos. As of late, there are three videos on there, one of them being a live stream. And another one, which you may count as a fourth, isn't actually about fate. It just has his name in the thumbnail and his, sorry, his picture in the thumbnail because Booty Hunter was talking about him, but the video was about Booty Hunter, as you guys have probably already seen. So this, I- But you're not gonna bring up the fact that you got three videos on me idea that people are turning fate into their content and they i could say you're turning me into your content 
I could easily say that. Because I got in your head, boy. They need fate. It's nonsense. Nobody needs fate. And I don't think fate... You, you clearly needed me, you son of a bitch, because you fucking made multiple videos on me. And you'll probably make a fourth after this one. So it'll be clear as day that you need my black ass. Needs us, really. He can pivot off into other things. I mean, his most popular videos are about reviews anyway. So this whole nonsense, you need me, I need you. No I bet you only know that because I brought that up in my fucking video. Because you claim you watch his channel, but man. You only know about that because I brought that up in my video, dude. Because you were saying that all he does is just like toxic content and shit. But I brought up the fact that that fucking camp or that like uh, his most popular videos were like his drama videos. But even in my response to you, I brought up the fact that that's not even remotely true because his most popular videos are review videos literally in that response video. But you ain't going to fucking point that out. You ain't going to give me my credit for that. Of course not. No. Okay, don't, don't peddle that bullshit. I don't need you, and you don't need me. Let's just be honest about it. Don't try to act like a big man in front of your followers. Yeah, they need you, Faye. They just need to speak. <laughs> wow. Um, irony. Because that's what you're clearly doing here in this video. About you. It's not that deep, bro. That's what that... It is that deep. It is that deep. L look how long this fucking video is. And you want to sit there and fucking tell me that's not that deep? damn near bruh are you kidding me god lee dude you want to tell me this ain't that deep fucking final fantasy games aren't even as long as this damn video and you want to tell me it's not that deep i mean first of all you reached out to me i didn't reach out to you and beyond this video no, 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 no. Don't try to do, don't try to do that because you know exactly. You know exactly where all this came from. You know exactly where all this came from. Like you didn't like he made front of your friends catch up and mustard the condiment twins and then that's when Foxy Grandpa got in there and then you just had to kind of put your little two cents in there. That's where it all came from. Don't try to act otherwise, bro. Don't try to do it. I'm not going to let you. Sorry, I'm going to catch you in that lie. You better believe it. I can't see myself really doing another video because honestly now it's just boring. It's tiresome. Playing the We'll see. We'll see. Or at least on me. He'll do another video on me. I know he will. I know he fucking will. Because this video, I'm telling you, it's going to seep into his mind. It's going to seep into his mind when he's sitting there, laying in bed at night, tossing and turning. This girlfriend's probably going to want to make sweet love to him, but yet he can't get the image of me right out of his mind. Because my, I am right in his head. I'm inside his veins. I'm like a virus. I am legitimately all that this guy can think about because he is going to make another video on me. I guarantee you. Matter of fact, or maybe he won't. Either way, I'll be proven right because I'll be validated either way because if he makes a video on me, Everything I'm saying in this video will be completely true, especially about the fact that how sensitive and insecure that he is. But then if he doesn't make a video on me, then, well, I'm validated in the sense that he's only doing it now because I'm calling him out on not making a video on me. And maybe one of his followers right now is watching this video, probably telling him don't respond because that's what he said you'd do. So, yeah, either way, I'm going to be validated, dude. So I feel pretty good in this video. Not going to lie. Overreactions aside, man, I'm telling you, I, I feel good in this video. I'm telling you, that that's one of the reasons why I'm so damn active right now. It, it is, I got, I'm way 10 times more energetic than I was in the last response video. Because, man, I got you hanging over a barrel. I know what you really are, Mike. You are a complete piece of shit. You are a manipulator. You are the most sensitive, insecure man 
on YouTube. But anyways, man, with all that being said, let me know what you guys thought of this video in the comment section down below. Um, you know, what do you think of this Mike Hollow guy? Have you uh, checked out his content? Have you not? Uh, let me know if you like his content already. You're already you don't. I mean, even like if you like his content, tell me how much you like his content. That's cool. You know, I'm not really going to actually attack it. Despite, <laughs> despite the shit I've been talking in this video, I ain't going to actually attack you for it, man. If you like the guy's content, that's cool. Just don't come in trying to whine and complain and be a bitch about it. And then it's, it's like, like I, I'm not going to accept it. And you bet your bitch ass I will delete the comments if you come in trying to be on some bullshit. Because we can have a discussion about this. But the minute, the minute you start trying to come in talking some shit and you ain't really trying to actually be on no type of discussion like garbage ass channel, I'm telling, hey, I am in my full right to delete it because once again, I have to preference this. It's my channel. It's called TW Booty Hunter and uh, I'm TW Booty Hunter. It's not TW Booty Hunter and friends. It's not TW Booty Hunter and company. It's T.W. Booty Hunter, all right? So I can do what the fuck I want on my channel. Mike Hollow can do what the fuck he wants on his channel. Fate can do what the fuck he wants on his channel. And people can have their opinions on it, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. And you just going to have to accept that, or you can kick rocks. Uh, but, yeah, man, aside from that, let me know if you like YouTube's worst videos like these or if you like the other type of um, opposite videos where it's a lot more positive called YouTube props. Latest video I did was on fate and um, yeah, as well as other content on the channel, which I can't even literally describe right now because we'd be here all night because of the fact that I do so much different content. Other than just this, man. I got so many gameplay videos coming up. I got fanboy salt videos coming up. I got, you know, reviews at some point coming up. Yeah, it, I got a lot of things coming up, man. We got a lot of different content on this channel. I, I like to think of myself as a content chameleon. I do a lot of different stuff so that I don't get bored just talking about one thing or doing just one thing. But if that all sounds good to you, then feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, and maybe even join for just a dollar a month to be a Booty Hunter VIP member to get access to things such as custom emojis, early access to videos like these and others a day, a week, or two, or maybe even months before they even come out, as well as Discord mod access. That's right, when you become a Booty Hunter VIP member, you automatically are a mod on my Discord. And there's tons of things to talk about, uh, you know, from TV, movies, video games, all that type of stuff. There's a lot more I actually want to do with that Discord as well. So it's a little bit of a work in progress. It's not anything crazy right now. You know, got like a few people in there. But yeah, if you want to join that, if that sounds cool to you, definitely you can do that. Uh, the link to the Discord is right in the description. Uh, just don't bring any weirdos in there with you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and also, how can I forget? Shout outs at the end of the video. Uh, you know, from the Booty Hunter VIP members, of course, like these wonderful people here who are Slipknot Jacob Kaz. Xavierus, and of course, who could ever forget Tiffany Stratton fan. But yeah, shouts out to the Booty Hunter VIP members. Shouts out to everybody who watched this video. Rather you agree with the video, rather you don't. Rather you're a uh, Mike Hollow supporter, rather you're a Mike Hollow dick sucker, because there is a difference, I'm sure. Or who knows, for all, for all I could know, maybe there's not. <laughs> but, but yeah man definitely just all around enjoy the video and also click the notification bell for all notifications and to enable notifications so that you never miss an upload from yours truly 
And with all that being said, discipline your boy, T.W. Booty Hunter, giving you guys another banger. And I'll see you guys next time. Fuck you, Mike. Thank you for being an ass and not watching the whole video. You didn't listen to a single damn thing I said. Thank you for being an ass. Only hearing what you wanted to. And getting butt hurt like the sensitive little bitch you are. Thank you for being an ass.